This video is to be used in conjunction with your owner's manual to help you with the assembly and mounting of your new Snow Sport HD plow. You will need a receiver plow mount hitch installed on your vehicle before starting the plow assembly. Follow the written instructions for the mount kit for your particular model of truck. Next, you will want to gather the tools shown on the list. Torque wrench, impact or ratchet with 9 16 inch and 3 quarter inch socket, drill with 3 16 inch and 5 16 inch drill bits, number 3 Phillips driver bit, 3 quarter inch box wrench, 5 16 inch open end wrench, 3 16 inch allen wrench, bubble level and protective eyewear. Make sure your vehicle is parked on a level grade and you're ready to get started. Step 1. Insert interceptor into receiver and secure with the hitch pin. The interceptor can be installed with the big leg turned either up or down as needed for proper push frame clearance, shown turned up in this video. Bolt the push frame to the proper hole pattern on the interceptor using four half inch by four inch bolts with flat washers and lock nuts. Leave bolts snug tight for now. Step two, with the bolts snug tight, Level the push frame horizontally, then check push frame for vertical plumb. If plumb, tighten all four bolts and proceed. If not plumb, refer to the shimming procedure in step number two of your owner's manual. Step three, align the end of the rubber edge with the matching channel of the bottom section of the aluminum blade. Slide the rubber edge into the channel until it's centered on the aluminum blade. Take the top half of the blade and connect the tongue and groove joint with the bottom half. Slide the top section until it's centered on the bottom section. Step 4. At each end of the blade, insert two square nuts into each channel, flat side facing out. These nuts will be aligned with the holes at the top and bottom of the slide hinges. Place each slide hinge on the blade and align the edge of the hinge with the factory mark on the blade. When both hinges are properly aligned, they should measure 22 and a half inches apart. Turn the 3 8 inch by 3 quarter inch hex bolts with flat washers into the nuts that were previously slid into the channels on both the top section of the blade and the bottom section of the blade. Double check to make sure each slide hinge is lined up with the factory mark. Then tighten the hex bolts on the top section first, then tighten the hex bolts on the bottom section. Using a 5 16 inch bit, drill a hole through the blade in each factory punched hole on the slide hinge. Turn a 3 8 inch by 1 inch self threading bolt into each drilled out hole and tighten. Step 5. At the tongue and groove joint, drill a 5 16 inch pilot hole at the factory mark in the V groove at each end of the blade. For a 96 inch wide blade, there will be an extra hole drilled and bolt installed per side. See step number 6 in your owner's manual. Turn a 3 8 inch by 1 inch self threading bolt into each pilot hole and tighten. Using a torque wrench, tighten all 6 bolts in each slide hinge to 31 foot pounds. Step 6. At the bottom of the blade, double check that the rubber edge is centered. Then, using a 3 16 inch bit, drill a pilot hole at each of the four factory marks in the V groove. Be sure to only drill through the first layer of aluminum and into the rubber. Using a number 3 Phillips bit, run a self drilling screw into each of the four pilot holes. This prevents the rubber cutting edge from moving. Step 7. Now, hang the blade on the push frame in the transport position and insert the keyhole pins. Insert two square nuts into the top channel. With a hex nut turned on to the stud of the blade marker, align the blade marker with the hole on the lift handle and bolt the marker and handle to the blade using one of the square nuts in the channel. Turn a 3 8 inch by 3 quarter inch bolt into the other hole on the handle and thread it into the second nut that was slid into the channel. With the handle flush with the blade edge, tighten both bolts connecting the lift handle to the blade. Repeat at the other end. Step 8. Attach the rubber box end to the blade using the metal cap plate and four 3 8 inch by 2 1⁄2 inch self-threading bolts. 
Tighten these bolts until the rubber end begins to compress to the blade. Insert a fifth bolt to tighten the bottom of the rubber end to the bottom of the metal cap plate. Secure this bolt with a flat washer and lock nut. Tighten all bolts equally and repeat at the other end. The installation of the plow is now complete and your plow is ready for the winter season.